Let's make a Southern catfish sandwich. So for this, it is very easy. Only thing you're gonna need is your fish of choice. I chose to use cod. So I bought some fillets and I sliced it into a sandwich. You're gonna need some flour, an egg wash, some breading. I am using Andy's fish breading. If you do not have this, feel free to use any bed breading of your choice. You're going to need some buns, of course, garlic powder, Creole seasoning, black pepper, and smoked paprika. So let's go ahead and get it started. Okay, so first I'm gonna start off by seasoning my flour. My flour is just plain old self-rising flour. I'm gonna start off with a little bit of pepper. Always remember to season your flour, guys. Even though you're gonna season the meat, um, it's not gonna adhere to the meat as much. So you wanna just season your flour to continue the seasoning within your dish. So I just put in some Creole seasoning. Now I'm putting in some garlic powder. And last but not least, smoked paprika. The smoked paprika is way better than regular paprika because it gives it flavor. So now that we have our flour seasoned, what I'm going to do is take a fork and I'm just gonna whisk everything together to ensure the seasonings are incorporated. As you can see, I did not put much in there. I just put enough because we are going to season our meat and our um, breading already has some seasoning on it. So you don't want this dish to be that salty. So, flour is seasoned. Now we're gonna work on our cod. So, we, we add, the cod is dry, it has nothing on it. No oil, no anything. We're gonna go ahead and just season that. Um, here's the Creole seasoning, like that. And here is the black pepper. And we're gonna season both sides. This is gonna be so good. And it's an easy recipe. And now we're gonna go ahead and use the garlic powder. I love garlic, so I always use garlic powder in everything. All right, we're gonna flip that and we're gonna go ahead and just do the next side. And as you can see, I have not put the paprika on just yet. Cause I wanna be able to see how much seasoning I'm putting on each. And this is the only way to tell because sometimes the paprika takes away the color for me to see how much seasoning is actually in there. All right, now that I seasoned both sides, now I'm gonna put the smoked paprika. You see how when you put this on there, it makes everything a little darker? This is why I wait to the last minute because it looks like a lot of seasoning on it because of the paprika, but it's really not a lot. But that's why I do that last. And like I said, smoked, not regular, smoked paprika is what gives everything its flavor. Trust me, you'll taste the difference. So that's all. This is all you need for this. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this filet, and I'm just gonna switch these over real quick. There we go. So I have my flour over here. Take the filet, put it in the flour like that just make sure it's coated on each side all right then i'm going to dip it in my egg wash my egg wash has two eggs and about a fourth of a cup of milk and bring it out of that and i'm gonna dip it right into my fish breading I'm not a person that does a, a wet hand and a dry hand. If you are, go ahead and do that. But I just want one of my hands to get <laughs> messy, not two. So I'm just coating the filet. And if you want to do beer batter, feel feel free to do that. Um, I personally am not a fan of beer, beer batter fish sandwiches, but it's a per personal preference. But this recipe works the same for beer batter. Just follow the instructions on your beer batter recipe, I mean on your beer batter breading, and you should be fine. All right, so I'm just making sure that the um, breading is incorporated in all of the crevices, 
and your fish should look like this. And I'm just gonna toss it to the side and then I'm gonna work on my second one. I'm only making two sandwiches, but do as many as your family desires. These are kind of big, so if I was making sliders, I'd probably do two each, but I'm, on, I'm doing a full size sandwich. So there's no need for multiple because it's only two people in my house right now. So I'm dipping it in the egg batter, the egg wash, and now over to the fish breading. So I'm gonna make sure that it's coated properly. There you go. So let's flip it over. See how I'm patting it into the crevices because sometimes those um, places will be missed if you don't pay attention. And then I'm taking it from the bottom, taking it on the top, just making sure I get everything. And I have my oil already heating up. So while you're doing this, just it doesn't take long, just get your oil ready. All right, and I'm done. So. I have both pieces complete. Now we're gonna head over to the stove so we can go ahead and cook these. Okay, so we have our oil heated up and now we're just gonna go ahead and place our fillets in the oil. I am using my fingers, but guys, please use something like a um, spatula or tongs and always place away from you so the grease doesn't splatter. And we're just gonna Put that in the pan. And we're gonna cook for about six minutes on each side and then we're gonna assemble our sandwich. Okay, we have our fillets complete. They are cooling right now. I'm going to go ahead and throw some cheese on it. And we are going to start toasting our bread. And I'm gonna tell you the secret to toasting the best bread, so stay with me. Okay, we have our skillet heating up. I have two pieces of bread. Nothing is on it at the moment. I also have some mayo real mayo that is the secret to toasting any good piece of bread so i'm just going to spread my mayo right on the bread you just want to do a thin layer most people does use butter but that's not how you toast bread guys and i promise you will not taste the butter i mean the mayo so just put it down in the skillet just like so let me zoom out for you guys there you go. There you go. So, I'm gonna do the other piece of bread. I'm just putting mayo on there. It's not butter, guys. It is mayo. Just a thin layer. And I'm gonna plop that down. And I'm gonna let it get burned. I'm just playing. I'm gonna let it get toasted. <laughs> There you guys have it. I have the fish sandwich assembled. I paired it with some curly fries and I added some cheese, some tartar sauce, some lettuce and some onions. It is so good, so easy. This is the perfect late night or early night dinner. If you're just feeling lazy, you want something that is done, you know, within the 30 minutes, this is your go-to menu or meal. And let's get into it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And if you like my recipe, let me know. Bon appetit.